Hi boys and girls, this is Mrs. Carter here with this week's guided reading book. Um, our story this week is called My Tree House, and you guys have a copy of this book in your orange folder. So if you don't have it out, pause the video and go find your book so that you can follow along as we go through it together. Okay? Um, if you have it, awesome. We are ready to start. So our story is called My Tree House. Anyone know what a tree house is? Yeah, so it's like um, like a, a little fort or hideaway, um, a special place that um, is um, where you like to hang out and have fun. Um, in this case, it's in a tree um, or by a tree. So you might have your own kind of fort or play area where you like to hang out. Um, this story is about a special kind of fort that's called a tree house. And we're going to take a look and see what this tree house is and what it has in it. Um, before we read our story, we are going to take a look at our focus question and our words that we need to know. All right, so if you turn the page or open to that first page, right here in the box, we have our focus question for this story. All right, it says, what can you find in this treehouse? All right, so as we read the story, we want to be thinking, what are some things that we find in this treehouse? Because after reading, we want to be able to answer that question using details from the text. All right, let's look over here at this next box. This is words to know. As, we, um, as I say them, I want you to repeat them after me. Ready? Deck. Cozy. Tall. View. Window. Wooden. Nice job. All right? Um, does anyone know what a deck is? Yeah, a deck, um, you might have one on your house. Um, it's kind of like a porch, um, but it's an area off your house. Um, decks are usually in the back, though, um, and it's where you can go outside um, and still be on part of your house, all right? Um, cozy, something that's snuggly, all right? Tall, all right? If something is really tall, it's really high. View, that's what you can see. Right, window, and then we have wooden, right? Something that's made out of wood, we call that wooden, right? Very nice. All right, let's take a look at our story. All right, before we read, um, in this story, you're going to see that it follows a pattern like we've talked about in other stories. So it's going to have a repeated phrase um, that's carried across each page. And in this story, our phrase is, my tree house has. And then it's going to tell us something that the tree house has, which goes along with our focus question. All right? And we can use the pictures to help us, but we want to make sure that we're also looking at the word and using those sounds and what we know about reading to help us read each sentence. All right? So if we look through, we can see different things in the pictures that will help us out with understanding our story. All right. We're ready to read. So go ahead and find page three. That's the page that the story starts on. All right. Um, our first reading, we're going to do an echo read. So my turn, your turn. All right. I want you to repeat after me. And it's going to, you're going to hear that phrase, right? Ready? My turn, your turn. My tree house has a big sign. Do you see the sign in the picture? Yeah, the sign says welcome. Right. Let's do the next page. Ready? My turn, your turn. My tree house has a tall ladder. It's right here in the picture. This is a ladder, right? She's got to climb up there to get into her tree house. My turn, your turn. My tree house has a wooden door. Okay, remember we said wooden is made out of wood, so here's the door. That's how she gets into her tree house. My tree house has a cozy cot. A cot is another word for a bed, so it's a small bed, right? Um, so she has a cozy cot, snuggly cot that's in her bed, or in her tree house. My turn, your turn, ready? My tree house has a little window. My tree house has a long deck. Right? You can see right here, this is a picture of the deck. So it comes off of the house. Right? Usually it has a, 
kind of a fence or a gate around it so that you don't fall. Um, but she can stand on the deck and then she can be outside and she has a nice view. Okay, my turn, your turn. My tree house has a pretty view. Yeah, and that's what you can see. Look at all that. What are some things she can see when she looks out of her tree house? Yeah, a river, a bridge is in the background, some fields. Looks like there's even some mountains way back there. It's a very pretty view, and there's some animals down here, too. All right. Ooh, this looks fun. Ready? My turn, your turn. My tree house has a silly slide. Very nice job. All right. Let's go back. All right. Remember our focus question. What can you find in this tree house? All right, so I'm going to read it through one more time, and you can read along with me. Um, and I want you to be able to answer that question. What are some things that she has in her treehouse? My treehouse has a big sign. My treehouse has a tall ladder. My treehouse has a wooden door. My treehouse has a cozy cot. My treehouse has a little window. My treehouse has a long deck. My tree house has a pretty view. My tree house has a silly slide. The end. That looks like a fun tree house. Would you want to live in that tree house or have one in your yard? I would, yeah, definitely. All right, so think about that question. What are some things that she has in her tree house? Yeah, she has a deck on her tree house. What else? A bed or a cot. Yep, cozy cot to rest on. A window. Good. What else? Yeah, the silly slide. That looks like fun, right? Very nice job. Um, there are some activities that go along with this story that are in your orange folder and also posted on Seesaw. So make sure you log in um, and do those activities or take a picture of the, the work in your folder that you're completing and send it to me. All right. Thanks for listening.